Um, in Ballarat, uh, we've been in and out of lockdown. Uh, I've been uh, in my spare room working for the last year and a half, but um, yeah, I do appreciate that I'm pretty lucky to be here. There's a very limited COVID and, you know, I have, I can get out the house and, and so on. So I'm going to tell you today a little bit about our courses. I'm going to tell you about um, the kinds of things you can, students can do in Ballarat, but I'm just going to start by uh, introducing the top five reasons to, to think about Federation University. So firstly, um, Federation University has a really long and proud history. We date back over 150 years. Um, we were founded in 1870 in the city of Ballarat. Ballarat is famous for the Victorian gold rush. People found gold in Ballarat in uh, at the 1850s. Um, and people from all over the world came to try to find their fortune in Ballarat. At one stage, Ballarat was a bigger city than Melbourne. Not anymore, but uh, I'll tell you more about that later. So we have a really long history with the third oldest provider of higher education in Australia. Uh, as a university, we became University of, of Ballarat in 1994. Then we became uh, Federation University in 2014. Like Ivy said, we're a public university. We're an Australian government university, and we are ranked in the top 250 young universities in the worldwide, worldwide according to Times Higher Education. Okay, we do have small class sizes. Like Ivy said, we have the smallest class sizes in Victoria. That means that students get a lot of personal attention and support from uh, their lecturers. And we always do well in terms of student feedback, survey results around teaching quality and student support. So we're currently ranked number one university in Australia for teaching quality, Victoria for student support and overall educational experience. We also have great employment outcomes for our students. So I'll tell, as I'll tell you later, we have two uh, regional campuses and two city campuses, but our city campuses are very new. They've only existed for a few years and we only had our first graduates uh, this year. So all these results are based on our regional campuses. So it shows you that in regional campuses, students can find uh, full-time graduate employment quickly and they can find uh, high paying graduate uh, employment. So we are ranked number one university in Victoria for full-time graduate employment. That includes all of the major Melbourne universities. We also have really competitive tuition fees. So our tuition fees range from about $20,000 to $30,000 per year. Um, scholarships for next year are the same as they have been for this year. So we have an automatic 20% tuition fee uh, reduction for all undergraduate and postgraduate coursework students. So that doesn't apply to research, but it does apply to all other degrees. Um, if students have a really strong academic background uh, from their high school or from their bachelor degree, they could uh, get that scholarship increased to 25%. So these scholarships apply for the whole duration of the degree. So um, two or three years of the degree. We also have accommodation scholarship. Um, so that is basically a 50% discount on campus accommodation rent if students live with us on our campuses. So that's available at our campuses in Victoria, at Berwick in Melbourne, at Ballarat and uh, in Gippsland. So it could be worth up to $4,000 and it gives students a great opportunity to live on campus, pay low rent, they get all their bills included. In Ballarat, we have a beautiful new gym and swimming pool on campus that students can also use as part of their accommodation fees. So uh, that's a great scholarship. And then another great reason to think about Federation is, like I've said, we have regional and city campuses. So we have a campus in Melbourne, we have a campus in Brisbane. So if you have students to move to those big cities, then um, you know, they can enjoy all the opportunities, excitement and entertainment of two of Australia's best cities. But we also have two campuses in regional Victoria, in Ballarat and Gippsland. And those campuses offer really affordable accommodation, great quality of life um, with plenty of things to see and do, uh, excellent employment opportunities and a four year post-study visa. So if students uh, come and graduate from Ballarat or from Gippsland, they'll be able to get the 
the normal two-year post-study work visa. If they keep living and working in those regional areas, they'll be able to extend that visa to up to four years. So that's a real uh, important benefit to students who are looking to stay in Australia and, and get work experience. Okay, so let me introduce our campuses. We have four campuses. I've talked about our top five because I'm also going to talk quickly about online study, but um, we basically have four campuses for international students. You can see on the map here, we have a campus in Brisbane, and then we have three campuses down here in Victoria. We have a campus in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne in a place called Berwick, uh, and then we have a traditional home campus in Ballarat, and we have another regional campus over here in Gippsland. So Ballarat is just over an hour on the train from uh, Melbourne. Gippsland is about an hour and a half on the train from Melbourne. Um, um, and um, yeah, the Berry campus is in the eastern suburbs of, of Melbourne. So let me introduce those campuses. Here's our Berwick campus. It's a very spacious, modern campus. It used to be a Monash campus. We took it over in 2017. Um, it's a fast growing area of Melbourne. It's a very multicultural suburb. Lots of um, Southeast Asian um, immigration into local areas. Um, and so there's a lot of interesting things to see and do in the local area. It's also very easy to get into the city center. The, the campus is just five minutes from the train station. So you can easily get into the city center. You can see here the campus uh, has very modern facilities. Here's the student accommodation over here. Um, we have great facilities for uh, IT, nursing, um, science, um, and great student spaces. And then in the local area, there's great parks. Um, it's just one stop away is Narra Warren, one stop on the train, which has the second biggest shopping center in Melbourne. It has this beautiful art center. And like I said, there's very multicultural markets in the nearby area as well. Okay, we have a campus in Brisbane. So if students are looking to be right in the city center somewhere, then we have a, a campus right in the heart of Brisbane. Uh, it's an award-winning campus, beautifully designed. It specializes in business and IT, but we are expanding our courses there next year. Um, so we have amazing facilities, great industry connections in Brisbane. Um, it is, at the moment, it's, it's previously been uh, an international only campus, but next year we're taking our first uh, Australian students as well. Our other campuses are, uh, mainly Australian students and up to 25% international. So here's the Brisbane campus. You can see really beautifully designed. It's right in the city center. Um, it's a great place to come and study IT or business. And Brisbane itself is a really beautiful place to live. Okay, here's the Gippsland campus. Now Gippsland is, like I showed you, it's in the eastern area of uh, Victoria. It's uh, a more regional area, I would say, than, than Ballarat, you know, smaller towns, but there are quite a lot of uh, towns near our campus. The campus itself is in a town called Churchill, which is a pretty small town, only about 10,000 people. So um, it's, it's quite, it's very regional. Um, it's a beautiful big campus. I actually went to the Gibson campus a few months ago and interviewed some of our students there. And the feedback I got from our students at Gibson just really blew my mind. It was amazing how positive they were about their experience there. Um, the local community, the local people were so welcoming. Um, and they had so many good things to say about, about uh, studying in Gippsland. So if you have students who are looking for uh, you know, a peaceful, quiet uh, study experience with great opportunities to stay in Australia longer, uh, then Gippsland is a great location for them. So you can see here, the campus is really big, surrounded by nature. And you know, if you like the outdoors lifestyle, there's plenty of things to see and do in the local area. Okay, and here's Ballarat. So Ballarat's where I live. Ballarat, you know, is really kind of halfway between Melbourne and Gippsland in terms of size. So Ballarat is about 120,000 people. It's the third biggest city in Victoria. Um, like I said, it's famous for the gold rush. And you can see there's lots of beautiful old buildings uh, from the 19th century. Um, 
it's a great place for international students to come and study for lots of reasons. We have a, a really big campus in Ballarat, again, surrounded by nature. The student accommodation is over here. So if you live on campus with us, you know, in the morning, you can wake up and see kangaroos outside of your window. You can walk over here, go for a swim and, and go to the gym, and then you walk to your class. So it's really easy to get to campus. Uh, and the campus itself is 15 minutes on a bus outside of the city center of Ballarat. It's surrounded by nature, like you can see, but there's also a technology park around the campus with big companies like IBM and Concentrix that have offices there. Um, so there's good opportunities for our students around the campus as well. So here are some of our facilities in Ballarat. This is our science and engineering precinct, um, lecture theaters, nursing labs, great science labs and so on. And then we have great student spaces. Obviously it's been a bit quiet on campus this last year and a half, but when we get back uh, to normal, you know, it's a great place for students to study. There's lots of uh, social and sport activities on campus. Here's the student accommodation. So like I said, students can get that accommodation scholarship and live on campus at any of our Victorian campuses. And finally, just want to quickly mention online hopefully the borders will be opening in the not too distant future but possibly in semester one next year students will still need to study online uh, at federation we've really done our best to try and make the online experience as engaging as possible and effective as possible um, so we've got a wide range of support programs um, to help our our students adapt to studying online uh, and of course um, you know the those post-study work visa rights are still apply to students who study who start their studies online and then come to Australia later okay I'd just like to talk a little bit more uh, about Ballarat because I'm sure you know Melbourne and Brisbane quite well but Ballarat you probably might not have heard of if unless you've been to one of my presentations before so Ballarat is a really interesting attractive city it's got a really relaxed and enjoyable lifestyle um, you know I think coming to regional Australia you're going to get more of a community feel students will make more local friends they'll speak more English uh, they'll get more confident in their ability to apply for jobs in Australia. There's also less competition for jobs in regional areas. Of course, there are less jobs in Ballarat than in Melbourne, but there's a lot less people. So uh, it's, you know, the unemployment rate in Ballarat is lower than Melbourne. So uh, I don't think international students have major problems finding work in Ballarat. So what are the best things to do in Ballarat? Firstly, enjoy the city. Um, like I said, there's beautiful architecture from the Gold Rush era. Uh, there's a beautiful lake near the city centre called Lake Wendouri and beautiful tree-lined streets. Then uh, the most famous tourist attraction in Ballarat is called Sovereign Hill. It's an um, outdoor museum of the Gold Rush. So you can go back in time, you can explore how life used to be uh, during the 19th century. Uh, you can go underground into the mines, you can watch gold being um, melted, and you know you can just really experience what life would, was like back then. It's a really great tourist attraction. Melbourne is just over an hour away on the train. Uh, so if students you know, want to experience big city life, then it's really easy to get into Melbourne, but then they can come back and enjoy their more relaxed life in Ballarat. From Ballarat, you can also easily get down to the Great Ocean Road. So there's kind of a, uh, a it's called the Golden Triangle, Ballarat, uh, the Great Ocean Road and the Grampian Mountains. So it's really easy to explore Victoria when you, when you live in Ballarat. So you can get to these beautiful beaches at the Great Ocean Road, and then you can get to the beautiful mountains of the Grampians. You know, I often uh, go on short holidays to places like the Grampians and, uh, and the Great Ocean Road. Okay, so just to take a break from me talking and to hear from our students, I'd love to show a video now of uh, our students talking about their experiences in Ballarat. At the start of this video, you can see our Churchill campus in Gippsland for 10 seconds, and then it shows the Ballarat campus. All the students who are talking are talking about their experiences of living and studying in Ballarat. So hopefully it will give you a better idea of what it's like for students to study at Federation uh, in regional Victoria.
And when I was thinking about coming to Australia, um, I really want to know the country and I want to know the culture. I feel like Australia has more than just you know Melbourne, Sydney, the big cities. Um, I want to know the countryside. I want to know another side of the culture. Great opportunities, work-life balance, and uh, the faculty was very helpful. We used to have lots of practical experience around the course. I lived two years on campus um, and the first year um, it was really, really great interacting with domestics and uh, clearing all those barriers and learning more about Australia. We do activity every week like badminton, barbecue, have a walk and board games and that kind of thing. The class size is smaller compared to other universities so you get to know your classmates and you get to know your teacher really well. Um, and my classmates were so supportive. I, I really feel like I'm supported and I'm cared for. The lecturer knows us by name. We can ask them questions about the problems we have, the theory uh, in the courses. Uh, we're just like friends, closer to friends than lecturer and students. I found Fed Uni very supportive. So due to pandemic, all the places closed down and I was working in hospitality. However, Fed Uni supported me with my expenses, utilities, petrol, yeah. additional counseling services. So that's just fantastic. I, I can agree. The university really, really make sure that international students got the support that they needed. It's lovely actually, everything is it's close, um, life is a bit cheaper, things feel just easier. Um, it's not super competitive as well if you want to find a job. I like the area, I like the uni, the support from uni, uh, friendly people, a nice environment, beautiful city. Many people know each other, it's easy to build up networking. So I'm enjoying whenever I'm on the street, I say hi to at least 10 people. Oh, I know you from there. Oh, oh you work there and all. Yeah, that's fantastic. Another thing about being, um, about studying in regional Victoria is that you get the four year um, postgraduate visa once you're done with your, with your degree. Well, four years is, is just great if, you, if you're actually planning to, um, you know, work in Australia and get that work experience. Even though I graduated now, I love where I live, I love Ballarat, so I'm not moving back to Melbourne. <laughs> it's still so close to Melbourne, you know, you can get there in just an, a bit over an hour. So I think um, it's a perfect spot for, you know, to enjoy the country life and so close to the city. I just feel like I'm home. Completely, it was only and only because of my degree that I was able to find work. All credit goes to my course and Federation University for letting me become a social worker. Studying at Federation University itself has give me, given me exposure to um, the interna international industry such as IBM. And then in, in front of the IBM as well, there is a Ballarat Technology Park where I used to work as well. At, but not only you're studying, but you also get exposure of the actual real life industry itself. I really enjoyed my placement and I think my school kind of enjoyed having me there. So I was offered a job after placement uh, a few months before I finished my st study. So I got the job. In my final year, uh, I was lucky enough to be a session tutor for structural designing. Uh, so I was able to work with my fellow lecturers as a tutor and also that uh, experience uh, led, led me to become a stru graduate structural engineer at Cardinal TGM in Ballarat. And I moved on to doing PhD, I also had the support and then the opportunity came up and I applied to be a, a lecturer at Fakim and here I stay. Yeah, so we now, we now run a company together. Um, we are doing website and mobile application developments and designs. So it's, yeah, it's just very exciting things. I like coding, he likes uh, managing people, so it's like a perfect couple, right? What I spent as fees and my time, it's paying back double now. So I'm just, I feel privileged, honestly. You, if you want to um, spend your life as a student in regional area, I think Federation is a place to be. Okay, thanks for uh, watching that. Hopefully it gives you a good idea of what 
um, our students enjoy about studying and, and living in regional Victoria. So obviously we do have campuses in big cities, like I said before, but we do have particular interest in, in Ballarat. So um, yeah, hopefully that's given you a good idea of, of what is available in Ballarat. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit more about our courses so these are our schools and courses uh that we um sorry these are our schools in 2022 uh business health engineering it physical sciences science psychology and sport education and art so we're going to talk now about the top six study areas at federation featuring some of those key courses that ivy was talking about earlier but also some some uh of our wider range of courses so first of all engineering engineering is um one of uh, the areas that Federation has uh, the best reputation for because uh, the history of, of Ballarat as a gold mining town means that we've always taught engineering since 1870. So we have a long history and experience of, of teaching engineering at Federation. We have excellent facilities. Most of our engineering courses are available at Ballarat. So you can see this is our engineering and science building. So we have great facilities in Ballarat. Um, all of our established programs are fully accredited by engineering, affordable fees, scholarships, and great outcomes for our students as well. So you can see here some of the uh, facilities that we have in Ballarat um, available for engineering students. At bachelor level, we have these degrees, civil, mechanical, mechatronic systems, mining and electrical and information. All of these four degrees are accredited by engineers in Australia. This is a new degree, so we're getting accreditation at the moment. Um, so they're four year degrees. Um, and they have a common first year. So students could change to a different degree in their second year if they wanted to. Um, again, number one in Victoria for student support and full-time graduate employment. Students do get 12 weeks of industry placement on the degree. Now the cost of the degree you can see up here is before the scholarship. So you can reduce this fee to about $23,500 for a Bachelor of Engineering degree. Master's level, we have civil, mechanical, mining, project management, renewable and electrical power systems and mechatronics and industrial automation. So these are established courses over here and they all are accredited by Engineers Australia. These are new courses, so we're trying to get them accredited now again. So um, all of these five are available in Ballarat. The mechatronics and industrial automation is available in Gippsland. So if you have students who are interested in moving into mechatronics, industrial automation, it's a great new degree available at the Gippsland campus. And I know for sure that there are great opportunities to work in industry around Gippsland. And uh, it would be a good place to go if students are looking to find work in Australia as a, as a mechatronics industrial engineer. So again, we have great outcomes for our students in Master of Engineering degrees, 96% in full-time employment within four months. Um, so great outcomes for students and number one in Victoria for overall educational experience as well. IT is another area that we're really strong in. Uh, we have a great reputation for IT, great feedback from, your, from our students. You can see again, number one in Australia for so many different categories, according to our student and graduate feedback. We have close connections with uh, major industry players like IBM and SAP and other big companies. Um, so in a bachelor level, we have these, we have a general bachelor of IT, or we have streams in big data and analytics, business information systems, networking and security, professional practice and software development. This professional practice degree is actually in partnership with IBM and students can get um, a scholarship of worth uh, over $40,000 to do work placements at IBM in their second and third year. It is a competitive degree uh, to get onto the degree. Usually students study the first year of our Bachelor of IT degree and show their academics that they have really strong interest and potential, and then they can apply to get onto the professional practice degree. So that's the usual route that students can get onto it. If you have an outstanding student who wants to apply for it directly, you know, you can get in touch with me and I can, I can talk to the school and see if there's opportunity for them to do a web interview to get a guaranteed first year place. 
Okay, Master of Technology at master's level, we have two Master of Technology degrees, one in software engineering, one in enterprise systems and business analytics. So they're both very popular degrees, um, a lot of hands-on learning using the uh, up-to-date uh, software from major companies like SAP Australia, SAS. So students get to use really cutting edge resources and technology, and they have those small class sizes to give them a lot of great individual attention. We have a brand new degree that I only really found out about yesterday called Master of Cognitive Enterprise, which is going to be launching next year. Now, I told you already, we have a good partnership with IBM. This degree has been uh, created in partnership with IBM. So cognitive enterprise, what does it mean? It basically means a thinking business, a business that is able to adapt to new technology and, and um, you know, really, really uh, work effectively and efficiently. So students on this degree will uh, learn a combination of business and IT skills. They'll learn about uh, how to become a leader in digitally transforming companies. They'll have a focus on innovative business processes and latest technology such as AI and blockchain. Students don't need to have IT experience to get onto this degree. They don't even need to have a business degree to get onto this degree. They will learn foundational IT knowledge and skills. And there is potential to get scholarship funded project opportunities with IBM and other, company, other companies in their second year. Okay, health and science. Bachelor of Nursing, like Ivy was saying, is uh, one of our most popular degrees. It's a three year degree, fully accredited. Um, we do have credit available, on, but only for students with uh, an Australian Diploma of Nursing. The degree itself has 800 hours of clinical placements, um, and we are number one in Victoria for full-time graduate employment. So those clinical placements really help students to make connections. And uh, in our regional campuses and in Berwick, we have excellent connections, and there's lots of healthcare opportunities in those regions. The IELTS is 7.0 overall with no band less than seven. Uh, we can take PTE or TOEFL or other accepted IELTS, or sorry, other accepted English tests, but we do need students to meet that score in one test, not two tests, okay? We have a Master of Public Health, which launched last year. So it's very timely, Master of Public Health. Um, it has specializations in health informatics, health economics, and health system management. And it has a strong focus on research and leadership training. So if students are looking to come to Australia and get a degree that will lead on to a research uh, opportunities, a PhD, this is a great degree for them to think about. In terms of bachelor degrees in health and life sciences, we have a great range of bachelor degrees. Again, great uh, feedback from our students and graduates uh, in the surveys. Um, and we have really great facilities for science, lots of good connections, clinical placements, and so on. So these are the degrees that we offer in uh, science, uh, biomedical science, biotechnology, environmental and conservation science, exercise and sports science, health science, geoscience, and veterinary and wildlife science. So we've seen quite a lot of interest in, particularly in veterinary and wildlife science, biomedical science, and so on. And we also have a Bachelor of Psychological Science, which is fully accredited and um, number one in Australia for skills development. Okay, another area that's been really popular this year is teacher education. So at bachelor level, we have a wide range of a bachelor of education degrees. Um, the IELTS has been reduced to 7.0 overall this year. And for Bachelor of Early Childhood Education, the IELTS is actually 6.5 overall. Um, Master of Teaching has become uh, very popular. Uh, our early childhood is particularly popular with international students at the moment. There's a lot of demand for early childhood uh, workers in Australia and uh, our Master of Teaching degrees are available in Ballarat and uh, we have great connect connections with, with uh, education institutions in the area. We have a early childhood centre on uh, on campus in Ballarat. Um, so great opportunities to connect with early childhood centres. Um, the IELTS, like I said, has reduced to 7.0 overall. For students who are onshore in Australia and have finished a degree in Australia recently, they um, 
will probably be eligible for our IELTS waiver. But for offshore students, the IELTS is 7.0 overall with 7.5 for speaking and listening, 6.5 for reading and writing. Master of Teaching Secondary is the same. Um, there's a lot of high demand for secondary teachers in Australia at the moment, um, and uh, the same IELTS waiver for onshore students and the same IELTS reduction for offshore students. Okay, business. Um, the business school has a great reputation. Um, you can see number one in Australia for teaching quality, learner engagement, skills development, and in Victoria for full-time graduate employment again. We have Bachelor of Business, which is a three-year degree with flexible uh, major streams. You can study management, marketing, or banking and finance with a common first year. And then we have, again, the bachelor version of the cognitive enterprise degree. So this is actually in our school of business. It has more of a focus uh, on business skills as a bachelor degree, but it's still the same kind of subject. You know, students will be learning about uh, how to use new technology in, in business environments so that they can help companies adapt to disruptive technology like AI and blockchain. So again, a really good degree for students to get a combination of business and IT skills and uh, find, um, you know, develop skills that are really going to help them to find work in the future. Students can also earn IBM digital badges as they study on this degree. Okay, community and social work is another really popular area for us. At bachelor level, we have Bachelor of Community and Human Services, which is accredited by Australian Community Workers Association, and it will help students to find work in, in those community and social uh, areas. Um, we have industry placements in the second and third years, and it's gonna lead on to a lot of different job opportunities in areas like disability support, child welfare, health services, and mental health services. Um, Master of Social Work, like Ivy said before, is uh, one of our most popular degrees. Um, it is available in Ballarat and Berwick campuses. It's available in Berwick in Melbourne in semester one and then Ballarat in semester two. So because of the structure of the degree, students can't change campus. So if they start in Berwick, uh, they will have to finish the degree in Berwick. And if they start in Ballarat, they'll study the whole degree in Ballarat. Um, the degree has a really unique structure. Students only need to come to campus one day every two weeks on a Friday when they have a whole day of seminars and workshops. And the rest of the time they uh, have a lot of independent learning and they get a lot of independence to balance their, their work demands and, and any other uh, things in their life. So um, we have great work placements on this degree. There are two lengthy work placements, one at the end of the first year, one at the end of the second year. So that's 140 days of work placements, really helping students to build skills, confidence and connections. The IELTS has gone up for Master of Social Work. So it has gone up to 7.0 overall with no band less than 7.0. And we do need an IELTS test for this degree. Also to get onto the Master of Social Work, students need to have eight subjects in their previous study that connect to social work. So in their bachelor degree, they need to have eight units that are, for example, sociology, psychology, it could be politics, it could be, um, economics or history, those kind of subjects. So if, if students have eight subjects in their bachelor degree, they should be able to get directly onto the Master of Social Work. We also have graduate certificate of social and community services. So if students don't have enough um, units to get onto the Master of Social Work directly, they could do this uh, graduate certificate before they apply for the Master of Social Work. Now in 2022, unfortunately, this certificate is only available online. So um, students will have to do this offshore online without a student visa. And then when they uh, finish this, they will be able to apply for Master of Social Work. So, you know, students could do this in semester one next year, apply for the Master of Social Work for July. And when they finish this certificate, uh, providing they have in total eight units from their previous study, including the four from this, then they would be able to get onto the Master of Social Work. So that's 
all I wanted to say about our courses. Obviously, we have more courses available. Please look at the website for more details. Um, six things to share with students. We have outstanding employment outcomes, really high quality personalized teaching, extensive and effective student support. Those scholarships, 20 to 25% discount on tuition fees, plus the 50% accommodation scholarship. We have really industry relevant and accredited courses with great facilities at regional and city campuses. So if you'd like to find out more, um, you can go to the federation.edu.au. You can go to our YouTube channel and you can see all those videos of um, uh, you know, the video that I showed you and plenty of testimonials as well. You can email me d.cherry and federation or contact GS Education and you can follow us at Fed Uni Australia. Okay, so that's it for me, Ivy. Thank you very much, Dan. Uh, so I think it's a very informative and, uh, and very detailed presentation. Um, so uh, we got some question from our participants. Um, so before the, uh, I'll go through that, uh, I just have a quick uh, like touch up on the uh, social work, Master of Social Work. So uh, would you guys uh, accept PTE um, to replace yeah. for IELTS? No, unfortunately, we only accept IELTS for social. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. What about TOEFL? TOEFL IBT? Would that? Um, no, <laughs> sorry, Ivy. With, with only social IELTS. Arts, uh, it's, okay. it's only IELTS. It's because of mm. the the accrediting body has insisted that we only take IELTS. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Got it. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. Um. So, first question from uh, Ivy. So uh, the procedure um, in terms of like transition uh, student from studying online uh, and then once the border is, is open, um, they get the visa and, and the flight to Ballarat. So I guess kind of like um, like credits um, that they took, they, they took online and also, um, you know, like any, anything that the student need to pay attention when they, uh, when they travel to Australia. Yeah. Sure, okay, well, it's still a process that you know we're looking to work out um, because it's a um, you know the government is still deciding on when the borders will open, how that will be managed. So there's still a lot to learn about how that's going to work next year. I'm sure it will happen next year. It's just a question of whether it's early in the year or the middle of the year. So if students do start online in semester one. Most of our degrees are available for students to start online. Um, most of them have flexibility. So if students only wanted to start with um, two or three units instead of the full four units, then they would be able to just do two or three units online. Um, and then, of course, as soon as possible, we'd be looking to bring them into Australia to come to our campuses. And um, we would support the students to manage that when it's possible and we'll be providing advice and guidance to all of our students about how they can uh, get into Australia uh, safely and as yeah. soon as possible. Yeah um, so speaking of the uh, like procedure to get the COE and the visa uh, do you guys have any like discount on the uh, COE deposit for the student at the moment? Um, not for offshore, unfortunately. For offshore, mm. uh, the COE deposit is is um, one semester's fees. Okay, it's one semester's mm. fees. So that is um, what students would have to pay to get uh, to get uh, their COE. For onshore, I know that we're mainly talking to offshore uh, mm. offshore agents today onshore we do have a, a discount so if we have any onshore student onshore agents here they're welcome to to talk to me about that yeah yeah um so for um we know that we we have some some uh, offshore agents but they also um have like onshore students as well so mm -hmm. um perhaps for like further details uh you, you guys can contact us and, and we'll get um, into more details of um, what we can help with the uh, COU deposit for your onshore students. Sure. Well, I mean, I can, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. I can say that if, if you are working with students who are onshore in Australia and they're applying mm -hmm. to us, we can, we can um, they can pay a 25% deposit, so 25% of the first okay. semester's fees yeah. to get yeah, on, but then they need to, pay, yeah. need to mm -hmm. pay the rest of the fees by census date. Census date, yeah. 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 Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, so that, I hope that answered your question. Um, from Julia, we got a question uh, about the living cost in Ballarat. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Julia. Um, so, um, yeah, it's much more affordable than Melbourne. Um, the cost of the government says that uh, a one bedroom in a share house in Ballarat is going to cost you about $105 a week. In, in Melbourne, it's about $255 per week. So it's under 50% of the cost of, of, of rental in, in Ballarat compared to Melbourne. Um, you know, personally speaking, uh, the reason I came to Ballarat, I lived in Melbourne for a long time, and it's impossible to, uh, you know, think about buying a house in Melbourne, you know, the cost of living in Melbourne is very expensive. Yeah, yeah so, it's, it's uh, ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, the big reason why I moved to Ballarat was that mm. cost of living and that, that accommodation cost. And, um, yeah. you know, having lived in Melbourne and now living in Ballarat, you know, Ballarat mm. is, a, is a more affordable place to live. It's a beautiful place to live and it's very uh, relaxed, but there's plenty of mm. things to do, you mm. know, so, um, yeah, I definitely recommend Ballarat as a, as a great place to live and more affordable. Yeah. Um, can the student pay, uh, study one subject per semester uh, with the online study? Uh, also from Julia as well. Um, Julia, um, look, I don't really want, I, I can't really say. I think that it depends on the subject. Mm -hmm. It depends on the degree. Mostly, um, we would prefer students to study more than one subject. But um, if there's a particular reason why the student um, uh, has issues studying online, uh, then we can we can ne negotiate with the school and see what's possible. But um, I think probably we'll, in general, at least two or three subjects. And to answer the next question, which is connected, is about how many subjects do we have per semester? So it's four subjects per semester, four, four units per semester. And student can take two or three subjects of the study online, right? For most courses, it depends a little bit on the course because if, um, if um, yeah, it depends a little bit on the course. But in general, students could choose to do two or three units yeah. online. Hmm. Um, so we're touching on that. So uh, if the student, they fail the subject uh, when they're studying online, would that be, uh, would, number one, would they, um, the score be recorded in, the, in their transcript? Uh, and number two is that can they study uh, again um, or they like do they have to pay again for the subject uh, or like how how would that be um, solved sure. when, yeah. when the like, student uh, comes to the show, you know, sure. yeah we we as a university don't want to have students failing we don't want to have students right. be, mm -hmm. you know being charged to do the same unit again like recently i I was involved with two students from Indonesia who's been studying online all year and they were, um, you know, having some issues with one or two of their courses. And, you know, we try to provide as much support to our students as possible to help them, to, to give them opportunities to extend, to, to make sure that they are being supported well. Um, and, you know, it really depends on why, you know, if students do fail a course, it really depends on uh, the circumstances. So if, yeah. if students have got unusual circumstances, really mm -hmm. difficult circumstances, you know, we will consider their reasons for failing and you know if i know that i think that um in that case students were uh there was definitely i'm not sure what happened but there's opportunity in certain circumstances that students could repeat without paying again um mm -hmm. obviously if somebody is not making contact with us right. and yeah. you know if it's yeah. their course yeah. then <laughs> they might be asked to mm -hmm. repeat and pay yeah 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 so it's uh, it's under circumstances and in consideration yeah, case, by case. case by case. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got a question about the four uh, years post grad uh, working visa. Um, yeah. If the student wants to study uh, study in Ballarat and then work in Melbourne, uh, would the student get two years uh, PSW visa instead? Or would that be yeah, sure. So look, you know, if somebody comes to study in Ballarat, they graduate in Ballarat or Gippsland, they get that two-year post-study work visa, the same as everybody else. 
then they can look for jobs in Ballarat, in Melbourne, in other areas of regional Victoria. If they get, if they find work in Ballarat and or the local area, um, then they can um, keep living in a regional area. And if they can, if they live and work um, for the whole two years in a regional area, they can then apply for uh, another two years on the visa. If they go to Melbourne and they find work in Melbourne, even if they keep living in Ballarat, they won't be able to apply for that extension. Mm -hmm. So really it gives students, you know, opportunities to look for work in a lot of different areas. If you were in, if you yeah, go to Melbourne. Flexible, right? yeah, it's more flexible, right? It's more flexible. Like if you go to Melbourne and study and then you find a job in Ballarat, you won't get that four year post-study work visa, you know? So um, it gives students that opportunity. And there are like a lot of our students do find work in Ballarat or in other regional areas so you could for example if you see a job if you come to Ballarat and you see a job in Gippsland you can go to Gippsland and work and then you would still get that four-year post-study work visa so um, as long as you stay in a regional area yeah yeah I'm just curious uh, like this is just another last question for myself yeah. uh, in Ballarat region um, this student like they working they study in social work or uh, like nursing so some of them might uh, interested in uh, working at a clinic uh, or like in a hospital if that possible uh, yeah. so how many like how many um, hospitals or uh, you would say from from uh, the region of Ballarat uh, that you can uh, yeah okay. yeah well look like with nursing like mm -hmm. I said we're number one in Victoria for full-time graduate employment of nursing. And that's mainly, that, that result is based on Ballarat and Gippsland. Um, because number one, Ballarat is uh, the center of health for Western Victoria. You know, Western Victoria is a big area with lots of small towns. And Ballarat is the biggest town in Western Victoria, the biggest city. So in Ballarat itself, there are two major hospitals. There's a really big public hospital there's a really big private hospital and then there are lots of different uh, clinics and aged care centers mm -hmm. and yeah. other employment opportunities so there's a lot of employment opportunities for nurses in Ballarat and then also you know people can look to go to smaller towns and find work as well you know when I went to Gippsland uh, recently I think I was saying in my presentation I went to Gippsland about six months ago and I was amazed by the experience of students there. I think that when you go to even smaller towns, there are in a way more opportunities because there's a lot less competition. So obviously there are less jobs, but if you turn up in a, in a, in a small town in Australia and you've got great nursing skills or social work skills, then there's gonna be opportunities for you there. Um, you know, for example, I, I met, 10 students from, uh, from who'd been at our Berwick campus and had studied social work. And in their, in their final semester, they'd gone to Gippsland to do a placement. Mm -hmm. And all of them had lived on campus accommodation in Gippsland. And um, then all of them, after their placement had finished, they'd all been offered jobs connected to their yeah. placement. They all stayed right. in Gippsland right. mm -hmm. and they all are now working and living in Gippsland and they all love living in Gippsland. Like <laughs> none of them, I, I said to them, like, even if it's not to do with, you know, future opportunities, PR and so mm. on, like, would you move back to Melbourne? They didn't want to move back to <laughs> Melbourne. And yeah. Melbourne is a great city. I don't mean, you know, Melbourne's great, but, you know, the smaller community you're in, in a way, mm. the higher the chance of finding work because yeah. you build connections, you build community and, mm. Um, you know, there's less skilled people competing right. for those jobs. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. Um, so I, I hope that um, answer your uh, concern or your students' concern about uh, studying and living and finding opportunities in, in regional area um, like Gippsland and, and, and Ballarat. So. Um, I think um, that's pretty much the uh, presentation, uh, sorry, the we webinar and the uh, question that we got today uh, for Federation. So thank you very much, Dan, again, for your uh, great, great um, insights and in, in, uh, sharing with us. Um, so we'll share the PPT that Dan uh, has shared with you guys today. And uh, if you have any question, um, please feel free to contact uh, uh, 
myself and the regional uh, manager for your uh, market. So thank you very much then uh, for your time and hopefully uh, everyone stay safe, yourself stay safe. And uh, once the pandemic, uh, hopefully over soon, you, you would be able to come to, to visit us uh, here in Southeast Asia and in Vietnam as well. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. Ivy, thank you for the event. I uh, really appreciate you organizing it. And yeah, thanks everyone to, for attending. And yeah. yeah, I definitely hope to meet you in Southeast Asia or in Ballarat someday. Yeah, so absolutely. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Dan. Bye, everyone. Bye.